Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Santa Fe, Texas. This is the Alta Loma town site in Santa Fe. Santa Fe is located just southeast of, of Houston, going towards Galveston. This is 12126 22nd Street. That's 12126 22nd Street. This is a four bedroom, two bath, two story home. Approximately 1,861 square feet. This home was built in 1901, according to HUD. And it sits on about a 15,000 square foot lot. It's a pretty nice sized lot. Exterior wise is wood siding. It does look like they at one point had a garage structure here. It's no longer there, but the slab is still here, which is nice. Slab's actually in decent condition, no cracks, so they must have poured it right. You could easily construct another garage here. On the side though, it does have a little bit of exterior wood rot around the base here. You can see that there are some areas where you'll probably want to come in and replace some of the wood rot. Let's take a look at the backyard and we'll look at the inside. Just give you another view of this, this side of the home over here. It does have storm shutters, which are nice. It is, looks like it's on some kind of a block and beam foundation. Big pecan tree. A little bit of exterior wood right on the corner there. Let's take a look at the backyard, then the inside. We have access to the backyard off of the kitchen. There's a little small deck here. You step down into the backyard. Now I do recommend getting a survey so you know exactly the dimensions of your lot, but exterior wise you can see there's a little bit of mildew on the back and a few pieces of damaged siding. It does have central air which is nice and you have a little closet here for your water heater. Let's take a look at the inside. Well as we step into the home, as I said this home was built according to HUD in 1901 so it does have some interesting character, interesting layout. We are immediately into this main room here which could technically be a big Big open living room. It does have original wood floors or what appear to be original wood floors. They look like they could be finished and actually in decent condition. You do have these pillars, I guess, to give you supporting structure in this living area over here. If we come through here, this could potentially be your dining room because there is a little pass through here into the kitchen, but you'll notice the doors are pretty low here, I guess because of the age of the home. Now here's an interesting thing. There's a little half bathroom downstairs here, which is basically a commode and a vanity. So you do have the use of a half bathroom downstairs. You don't have to go uh, all the way upstairs. But if we come through this little passageway into the kitchen, there's actually a shower here behind there. So there's a full bathroom, potentially a full bathroom downstairs. We come through this little opening and then we're into your kitchen. Now you can also get to the kitchen by coming into the front door and through here. So it's actually a good sized kitchen. The kitchen has a, a potential breakfast area right here underneath that little lamp. And then you have access to going into your backyard here and you have a combined pantry and washer and dryer area here. So your washer and dryer connections are here inside. You have pretty much a, a dining room here, your kitchen, and then the bedrooms will be upstairs. There's a little storage space underneath the staircase that looks original to the 19, early 1900s. We make our way up the stairs. A little bit of a steep staircase here. Now, because this home is rather old, the bedrooms are a little small. When we get upstairs, we come around the corner here, we have bedroom number one at the top of the staircase. This is a very small bedroom. It's probably about an eight by eight. It's gonna probably need the flooring to be redone and a fresh coat of paint. Right next to that, we have your bathroom, full bathroom number two, which is a shower and tub combo. You have a little vanity here and your commode does have a high ceiling and it has just cheap linoleum flooring in here. There are wood floors upstairs. Next to that we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, same thing. It's kind of a small bedroom. Larger than the other bedroom. This is probably about an, an 11 by 11. Has some built-in cabinetry there. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. It's actually the largest of the bedrooms. Probably maybe the master. And then bedroom number four right next to that. This bedroom is going to need a fresh coat of paint. You have some closets that they constructed in here and some flooring. So all in all, interesting home, as I said, 
early construction built in 1901 according to HUD and it's about 28,000 underneath the county appraisal. You could probably own this home for about 900, maybe 950 a month. Let me give you a summary. Well, there it is, 12126 22nd Street. That's 12126 22nd Street in Santa Fe, Texas. This is an interesting four bedroom, two bath, two story home. As I said, it was built in 1901. Older home sits on a nice large lot. It's about $28,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed right now for only $104,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.